EMAP field cheat sheet number six, data import and export. A number of different files can be imported into EMAP field. Things like GPS photos, GPX files, georeferenced images, and shape files. Data and images can also be exported from the application. To find these tools, go to tab six, import. This allows you to import files and GPS data. Once you have finished creating your observations and are happy with your map, you can go to tab 5, Printing and Export. This allows you to print and export your observations and your map. Copy the files that are to be imported into EMAP field into a folder on your computer. Then use the import function to incorporate the files. Once you have imported a GPS photo, a camera icon is drawn on the screen where the photo was taken. A blue line on the map shows the direction in which the camera was pointing when the photo was taken. A photo also appears as an observation in the observations panel. You can also import other things such as shapefiles, JPEGs and Aussie Explorer files by using the import files tool. Observations, images of the map display and Google Earth compatible files can also be exported and you can do this by going to tab 5, printing and export, and using the variety of tools at your disposal. When importing a georeferenced image, you need to know the projection of the image. Projected shape files such as those in MGA zone 54 and 55 will not be imported. If you import a GPS referenced image, the camera location on the map represents where the image was taken and the blue line coming out represents the bearing of the image.